Today, we're going to be painting pretty pixies together. This is going to be so much fun. Listen, before we get started, don't forget that this is interactive. We want to hear your questions, mm -hmm. your comments. If you like it, you don't like it, any ideas, just use the chat where you're watching. Uh, Facebook, on the website, directly on the website or on our Facebook page, Mondo Market TV. Be sure to like that one as well. And uh, leave us your comments and your questions and participate. And also, don't forget to share. We love it when you share and you let other people know that we're live. This is your, your moment, your me time right now. Mondo Market TV, I look at it as your, your me time. You get to spend a little bit of time with us, just get some inspiration and have a good time with us. So uh, do share and spread the word and let them know that we're live. So I have here Shalin. Shalin, what are we Yay. going to do today? Oh my gosh. We're gonna paint pixies. Nice. <laughs> pixies are so much fun, and I, I know there's a, a new trend going around with little pixie parties and things like that. So this is just a, a beginning pixie, you know, kit on how to paint pixies. And nice. I love these pixies. Um, I'll, I want to explain the pixies a little bit to you. Okay. Um, my art teacher, way back when, I'm not going to tell you when because that dates me, but um, she's the one who created it. Her name is Linda Cisneros, and she's the one who actually created all the pixie pictures that we have. So it's really kind of fun to be able to share something that um, she created for my father, and then my father has kept them all these years, and so we, we, you know, got this little array of pixies in our pockets. It's really kind <laughs> nice. of fun. So what I'm going to show you first is what you're going to get in the kit. Okay. So I want to I want to show you that first off. So <clears throat> over here we have the pixie panels. Ooh, this right here you can yes, see. Yes, the beautiful. three panels, and this is what it is. So it's just three pieces of bolts of wood. It's really light. So if you're going to paint it and put it in your house, you know, like on a wall or something, it's not going to be that heavy. You're not going to need to pound big nails and in. And it is super light, right? Very light. And just so Very you're free light. to see. So, yep, here you go. And the good thing about this wood is you don't really have to sand it. So it's already sanded. It's already got smooth edges. Oh, yeah. Um, the only thing I would recommend is a tack cloth. And I'll show you that in just a minute. So um, the next one we have the pixie plaque the plaque and it's just the same type of wood it's smooth there isn't any real sanding that you'll need to do you'll need to use the tack cloth and take the dust off or whatever there is but it's super easy easy to transfer patterns onto and it's I mean, a beautiful wood i love this wood yes this wood is a lot of fun so what you'll get is in each kit you have to determine which kit you would want the panel or the um or the, or the plaque, plaque. And then we, you know, we'll go from there. But so those are the two things that we're gonna do. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you. Let's grab these here. So here's our little pixies. And these little gals are just adorable. So right here, these little tiny pixies. This is what we're gonna transfer over onto the plaque. So today I'm gonna just show you the basics on how to do this. It is super easy. If you have a child that, um, say you have a 10 to 14 year old daughter that really likes to paint pixies or a son or whomever, let them just sit down and create with these because they're a lot of fun. So in the kit, you'll get three different sizes of pixies. Oh, cool. So you'll get the little tiny ones that are about an inch and a half tall, and then you have these which are about four inches, and then you'll have these, which there's two different sizes that are bigger. So if you wanted to do, say, a big plaque for your door, or you want to actually transfer this to a wall, you can take this, tape it up onto your wall, transfer mm -hmm. it on there, and you can have pixies on your wall. Nice. Yeah. So we're going to get started, and I am just going to base coat this plaque. So it's really quite easy. Um, patterns are super fast. So what I'm going to do is I have decided I'm going to do something a little bit different this time. And I want to do, I love purple. You guys know I love purple. <laughs> and it's a royalty color, and I just think it's a lot of fun. So I'm actually going to base the, this top part with just a little bit. And make sure, again, you, you uh, shake your paint up. And that's just acrylic paint? It's acrylic paint. Easy. Get it in your local craft store. Um, get your palette together of what you want to do first. So, you know, before you, uh, when you order this kit, when you decide that you want to do a certain color, um, go pick out your colors first. Then you can um, pick out your ribbons when you order your kit because you're going to get ribbons with this. 
So super easy. I mean, look how fast this is. Yeah, so this, you're just using a little foam brush? Just a little foam brush, a one inch foam brush. Do you and get the edges as well? I will. Um, I, I paint the backs of everything. I have a fetish with backs. I want, if I'm gonna get a product or do a product, uh, a craft, oh, I gotta replace that. Um, I love to have my backs painted. You don't have to. So I'm just going to the paint paint the sides. It goes so well on that wood, actually. Mm -hmm. It just super, seems to be super easy. It is. It's really easy. And okay, for a 70 cent bottle of paint, I mean, you can pretty much do two or three of these. So I'm just going to try and angle this around here. And um, for those of you who already know how to toll paint or who watched my course on toll painting, um, you know how much I like to do things fast, simple, and to the point. I just want them done. And I don't want to run into a bunch of technicalities. So I try and do things as easy as possible. Oops. Fast, easy, and to the point. I like that. Ah, the Shayway. Yes. I like the Shayway. So I'm going to, and I recycle everything in my house. Ask my poor husband. I save containers and all kinds of stuff. <laughs> so when I paint, I have something that I can actually. So here we have some, what is it, applesauce? <laughs> this is a guacamole, <laughs> okay. a plastic guacamole um, little cup that I thought, oh, that would really be cute for painting. Perfect. And so, of course, you know, there's a big box, several, in my house of things that I have saved. But I usually use them all. And what's really cool about it, throw them away, it didn't cost you anything. So here we go. So we are going to go and do this fast. And then, too, with Pixies, you can ex um, accessorize. So not only, and I think I'm going to have you do this, Nash. Oh, boy. I know. I love putting Nash on the spot. She's really good at crafting, even though she gives me a little bit of flack. She's really good at it. So with my Pixies, I love to create the little garden looks and things like that. And if you notice over here, I have little pots, I have little books, I have just, these are things that I've just Super picked cute. up. They're easy, they're cute. Yes. And I, I tipped them on their side and Nash was so good to put them back up because. <laughs> yeah, I came here and I put it up. She says, I, I like, need to nope. fix it. <laughs> and I'm like, no, 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 I want, it, I want it down because see, I'm different. I don't do everything the way I'm supposed to. Well, we like different. Yes. Because when you're crafting, you can create whatever it is you feel that yes. you want to do. So there you go. While we were jibber jabbering. You painted the whole panel. I just painted that whole panel. So I'm not going to waste this brush. Okay. I'm going to give it to you. Oh, joy. <laughs> and I'm going to have you paint a terracotta pot. Okay. And this is just a simple terracotta pot. And I just paint it. Yep. Just paint it. So while she's painting that, um, that's going to be one of the accessories for this. So if you if you want to do pots, you can. If you want to do boxes, little crates. I never crates, thought you could paint these for some reason. You can do a lot with those. Those, those are crazy cool. So I'm going to actually set this one over here. Now for the three panels, we're going to do something just a little bit different. So this, the one that I did up there has a stain on it. You can use stain, you can whitewash. Um, I've actually even seen it where you could do chalk, like a, the chalkboard paint, and then actually paint your little pixies on there. And then you can write around your pixies. So it would be kind of mm. cute to something to put in a little girl's room or, you know, it would just be darling. So for this one, I'm actually going to do it a light pink. And that way, when I do my pixies and I choose its hair color and what have you, I can choose a darker hair color. So let me pull up my little tabs here. And again, easy, fast. I mean, this is what you want. You want to make sure that you're doing something that's not taking you a whole bunch of time, especially with wood. Wood is a quick craft to do, and it dries fast. So um, you want to make sure that, that you do something you're comfortable with. And I think it's great when there's a lot of diversification because Shahar can 
can do clay really well, and I just don't have the patience for it. Mm -hmm. I wish I did, because I love the outlook, but I just don't have, have much of a patience for that, but I do love it. So if you get a chance to check out her class on polymer clay, it's awesome. So I'm not gonna do this dark. I'm literally just gonna go over it very lightly. And um, what I wanna do too is, I just wanna kinda give it a nice airy look because I wanna see the grain still. Um, balsa wood is beautiful, I think, and I really like how um, you know, you can do a lot of stains on balsa wood and it'll pull out all the, I call it art, wood art. Uh, my dad was a wood shop teacher and he had a wood shop behind our house. And so when I was a little girl, I could go out and look at all kinds of different pieces of wood and smell them. And so I, I just love how mother nature puts patterns into things. And we just have to be able to recognize them and accentuate them. So, and I'm only gonna paint one panel here because I wanna be able to make sure to show you how to transfer the, the pattern onto this. And again, I'm gonna paint my back when I get home, but you don't have to. Mm -hmm. It's not a requirement. <laughs> but I do think that there's one thing that you should do, and it's sign your craft. When you're done, mm -hmm. sign it. Because you take ownership of the talent that you have. And you worked really hard to get it, share it. So make sure people know that that's yours and you have a very unique signature and people are aware that you know you are um, an artist because you really are. So I mean, see how fast this is? I mean, you can, the lighter the coat, the faster it will dry. Um, don't take a hair dryer to this. I know a lot of people do that, but a hair dryer can actually raise the, the grain of your wood a little bit. And you don't want to lose the integrity of your wood. That's really important. So, oh, look at you. Yeah, I can paint. You can paint. <laughs> do See, you usually great. paint the inside or no? I do. Ah, of I, course. I do. If you want to pull that purple one down, that's right up there, and we'll show you. This one right here? Yes. Let's oh, just pull yes, that down. Oh, yes, because you have it tipped over. That makes perfect yes. sense. So see, inside my little pot here to go with my pixies, everything's painted. Here, actually, and let me... That's actually one coat. Just one coat? That's wow. just one coat. And I just did the the no no and I you just paint, you paint everything, unlike what I, I just do. did here. I do, I paint everything. But gotcha. see how pretty it is? Yes, it is pretty. So it just works out really good that way. Very nice. Okay, I'm gonna do just a little more coat right here. I think this little book is adorable. And you know, those things are you can find those in all your local craft stores. You can find them in little hobby shops. You can actually go to like train, um, like the little train stations that, you know, people buy all their, their little model trains. Uh -huh. They have tons of little things that you can buy and you can model them, you can change them and it's just cute. So, okay, so I painted my two panels. I'm gonna put that right here to dry. And I wanna show you, this but is pretty much almost. By the way, Diane Kelly said hi. Hi, Diane, how Hello. are you? <laughs> I'm glad you're here with us. This is gonna be a lot of fun to share my pixies with you. Okay, so that's dry. I mean, that was really fast. fast, yes. Look how fast. So um, on my pattern, I'm gonna cut out one of these smaller ones and show you. So what you wanna do is, I know they're here. I just had my, I never cut my original copies ever. So when you get the kit, take it and go have it copied mm. onto cardstock. Because cardstock is heavy, because I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you one thing about cardstock. I usually paint my pixies or I paint whatever I'm doing first on a piece of paper. And I wanted to show you what happens when you do paper. Oh. See what happens? Yes. It curls up, it doesn't work, it's, it's a mess, and I like to do my color scheme first to see what I'm gonna be doing, and then I go and transfer it to my wood. So I'm gonna take, and I use smaller scissors for things like this because that size of scissor is gonna be really hard to cut compared to this size. Mm -hmm. So 
And I've had to hide these for my kids for years. Mm -hmm. So if my kids are watching, I love you guys, I still have them. <laughs> so my kids grew up doing a lot of arts and crafts and a lot of different things. And that's what's fun about arts and crafts is you can actually just share, share the enjoyment with your kids and share the enjoyment with friends and family if you've got neighbors. So I'm just going to cut this all out, and I'm going to do it kind of quickly here. But what's really cool about this is you don't have to be exactly perfect. I do the bottoms pretty much smooth so I know where I'm going to set them, but the rest of it, I'm just going to go like this. And I'm just going to cut around my craft. So don't, you don't have to be perfect. You don't have to cut out every single line in detail because that's going to drive you crazy and it's going to take you a lot of time and then you're not going to want to do your craft. Diane is asking if we are live right now. We are. We yes, are. We are. <laughs> okay. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my graphite paper. Nancy, Nancy said hi. Hi, Nancy. Good so, to have you with us. Uh, over here, basically, you just cut around it. You don't even have to get it, cut the intricate mm -mm. detail of the hair or anything like that. No. In fact, if I find, for me, if I cut all the details out and then I transfer it on and it doesn't actually look like what I cut out, sometimes I'll cut off things that, it shouldn't, that should be there and I forget it. And then I get my craft done and then I'm like, oh, there's supposed to be antennas, there's supposed <laughs> to be little things out here, so... I try not to be perfect at the craft. I try to enjoy the craft. Enjoy the process. Yes. So you just have here carbon paper? This is Nothing carbon paper. Nothing special about it? Nope. It's just a simple piece of paper. I'm going to figure out where I'm going to put my pattern. So like on there, I put the little butterfly on my right side. And then I'm just going to take it. And I'm just going to put it on here. And I mean, this is something that everybody has done um, in school, in grade school, junior high. So don't be intimidated by it. Again, you don't have to be perfect. You don't have to make everything absolute. But try and get your detail lines, especially in your faces. Because those are what is going to um, keep the detail in what you're doing. So I'm just going to trace this. And I love pixies and fairies and everything that has to do with pixies and fairies. I think they're a lot of fun. They're whimsical. Um, they do have a lot of um, mystique to them. So I really enjoy the little pixie girls. And growing up, these little pixies were um, a part of my world because we had little printed ones all over the place. And um, so it was a lot of fun to look at them when I was a little girl. And now that I'm older and a grandma, <laughs> then I can, you know, share them with my grandkids and do a little bit of detail decorating in my house. I do have four grandsons, so one day I'll... You know, have a cute little granddaughter, hint, hint, and uh, I'll, I'll be able to use my all my pixie stuff. Are you transferring, are you putting a lot of uh, strength into this transfer process or I'm just not. outlining it? I'm not. In fact, if you put too much strength into balsa wood, you're going to dent it. Hmm. And balsa wood is not as forgiving as pine. So if you end up... Um, doing a lot of pushing really hard, that's what you're gonna end up as have these little divots. And then when you go to paint, you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, what did I do? And I have a little trick too. So if you, and I'll show you at the end of this. So if you um, go through and you, you're transferring everything over and then you accidentally miss something, I'm gonna show you a little trick that will help you um, finish that and then nobody will know that you didn't actually do it. Paulette said that she loves these demos. Oh, we're so glad. We like doing them. It's yes. a lot of fun. Well, and crafting is such a great out. 
you know, people say, oh, you're a crazy crafter. And it's like, well, no, I would be crazy if I wasn't crafting. <laughs> so you got to you gotta keep up with what you got and enjoy what you have. But thank you for the comment. So there you go. So if you can see that. Yes. Okay. Now there's a couple pieces in here that I forgot to that trace? I didn't do. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go like this. And I am just, oh. I'm going to go like this. And remember, you can erase graphite, but you can't erase marker. So please don't trace with a marker. See, I just left a couple of marks right there. But you just go like this. And then I usually just transfer this back on. And you just kind of have to eyeball it. It's a little bit harder, but... So I'm going to go like this, and I think that right there, it. Yeah. it just transfers it a little bit, enough for you to make up the difference. You wouldn't want so. to put the transfer paper because then it would kind of smudge it onto it? Well, you won't know. If you put the transfer paper on, oh, you can't it's see. so big, you don't know where it's at. Gotcha. So um, That's a good tip. And I'm going to do one more right here. So I forgot her little hand and her body. And she has fingers. She does. And she, well, her toes are covered up, but. So there you go. Cute. Super So cute. there you have it. So there's one of the pixies. Now to reverse your pixies. Oh. Here is What's a What's the trick. Shayway? This is the Shayway. And again, a lot of people don't have, um, oh, you know, some people don't have printers at their house. And they don't have um, a way to transfer different things, and I know it's here. So what I did was, so this is the little pixie we just did, and I just cut out to show you. But then what I did was I traced it onto the back. So I taped a piece of paper up to a window, and then um, I have my pixie so you can see it through the window when there's sunlight, and then I just traced it. Traced it. So, I mean, easy peasy. So don't <laughs> worry about trying to go out and reverse a, a pattern and everything. Just, you know, use what you've got. If you're a crafter, you have great abilities to um, expand your horizons and use things that normally you wouldn't think of doing. But, um, but once you start doing a lot of it, it's super easy. Absolutely. Super, super easy. So that's how to transfer that over. And then we base coated that this way. Now I'm going to show you what I did to the edge. And in fact, while you're preparing for that, I do want to invite you to go to mondomarkettv.com and you can get your pixie kit right there for you. You're, you. We have two options for you. There's the wood pixie plaque, which is this one over here that you can see on the bottom right there. And uh, the wood pixie plaque comes with the plaque, comes with the three different sizes of the pattern for you. Mm -hmm. And um, the other option that you have is also the wood pixie panels you can see those up here beautiful cute panels you can these are fun too because you can play with them mm -hmm. uh, how you display them and it comes with the panels the three the balsa wood panels as well as the three different size of patterns so You're go good. to mondomarkettv.com yes. to get it it's on sale today great deal for you just 21.95 and you can have this beautiful uh, beautiful kit for you to create your for you to paint your pixies. Your pixies. <laughs> you know, for you to paint your pretty your pixies. Pretty pixies. On break, we were joking about <laughs> the, the little alliteration of pretty painting, painting pretty pixies. Pretty pretty pixies. I with mean. pixie people. <laughs> well, you know, you have to you have to love pixies. There's not a lot of people that, you know, have the same taste as us. And so sometimes when you say pixies or fairies, people go, hey, whatever. <laughs> you know, I'm not going to do that. But I really think that to having something whimsical in your home Especially even if it's just for a cute little party. Yes. I mean, if you were having a baby shower for a little girl and you had a pixie party, oh my gosh, the things that you could do with just these basic patterns would be a blast. They would be so much fun. So if you decide to have a pixie baby shower, email me and I will give you a ton of ideas <laughs> because obviously I'm, you know, it might take me a few years before I get to do one of those. So I'll share with you. So, okay, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do to the edge. So... This is just a stencil brush, and I just put a little bit of pink paint that I used for my panels. And I am just 
going to work it in. I want to work it into my brush. And I'm going to just kind of, OK. I don't want it completely dry, because I actually want to edge it. So I want to be able to take, take this and start working it. So if you're using a light color, like I did, use a dark paint. If you're doing um, a darker paint, then you can do a lighter color. And I actually would probably do a darker pink on top of this. So I'm just going to show you a little bit about how I do it. So I mean, look at that. That's so easy. So easy, simple. Nancy said, those are adorable. Oh, thanks, Nancy. They're fun. They're really fun. And I'll show you the different sizes here in a minute that you can do. You could even do which I think would be fun too, is a pixie ornament Christmas tree, like oh, a little miniature one. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I think it would be so much fun. But um, yes, I love this. So that's what I did on the edge. Very easy, easy very and it simple. Looks great. I mean, the Shea way, go fast, <laughs> go fast, enjoy it. I, I used to work for a woman, my other uh, things I do are weddings and, and catering. And um, a woman I worked for a lot of years ago, when I first started out doing weddings, and she would get really mad at me because I would think really hard about everything I was doing every step. And then she would say, Shalyn, if you have to think about it, you're not going to be able to do it. And she would just yell at me, and I would be like, oh, OK. Mm -hmm. But over the years, her advice came true because the more I thought about things, the less I could get done. And the more I just felt free and did it, did what I wanted to do, I create, mm -hmm. so it's a, it's a wonderful feeling. So, okay, that's what I did with that one right there. I think even they call it paralysis by analysis, you right? No, it's so Keeps true. Keeps you from moving forward just because you just keep analyzing everything, you want to get it perfect, but right. the fact is you're never going to get it perfect. No, and you know what? There's no reason to even expect perfection. What you need to expect is what you expect out of yourself and um, you're already perfect, so you don't need to try and be perfect and do it like me because I'm different from you. So you need to take the patterns, take them onto yourself and just go with it. I mean, yes. th there's a lot of people that would do prints on the fairy bodies. They would do little patterns and they would do stuff. I just did it basic and simple for you guys, but man, I would just let loose and just do what you wanna do. Yes. I think it'd be so much fun. So again, those are just the little tricks on, on just starting how to do this. Okay, and you can see here, this was the, the example of, like you said, the mm -hmm. darker color with the lighter with edge. The lighter. And here you can see the lighter color with right. the darker edge. Right. Uh, right there, let's see. Right. Just for you to see, see the that? example here on the lighter color. Yep, there we go, the there lighter go. panel with the darker edge. Yep. And they give different effects, different, mm -hmm. however, similar effects. Um, yes, but it's so, I like it. Right. So. Again, I would take your little piece of, of um, your pattern, paint it up first how you want it, like I did before on the paper to show you how the paper was. Um, literally, just paint the colors that you like, and then you can decide, okay, I really like that, I really don't, because the green on the pixie on the light will not probably look as good on the dark. So mm. get your color scheme, figure it out, and then kind of go from there. That is why you like to paint it before then. I do. I really like to paint things and think it through because if I don't, I will paint something and then all of a sudden I'll be like, why did I do that? <laughs> that is ugly. And I will actually sand it down and repaint it. That takes away all your time. So you don't want to do that. And the fun. Yeah, exactly. So um, I'm going to show you. So I know this looks weird, but this is an Easter egg. <laughs> And I found it um, at a craft store that was 60% off. And I thought, ooh, perfect. this is a perfect ornament. So I'm going to show you what I would do with some of these patterns. So in your kit, you're going to get these, these little patterns with your different sizes. So there's three different sizes. This one is for the ornament size. And this one I'm really excited about because... Like I said, if you're going to do a pixie ornament Christmas tree or you're going to do something with pixies that you want to hang, I would cut one of these out, and I think we'll do the little caterpillar. So again, I'm not making this perfect. 
You don't have to get it perfect. Nope. You just have to get it going. You got to get it going. Got to move. And then what I'm going to do is, there you go. So I'm going to base coat this a color. So whatever color I want to base coat it, um, depending on what type of, of craft I'm doing. If it's a Christmas tree, this would be so cute painted in an off-white or even a bright white like a snow white. And then I would do the pixie. I would just transfer her on like you would um, with the graphite paper, transfer her on and then do her a little outfit in Christmas colors. So I would probably do her hair lime green and then I would just do her dress um, red, her boots green, and I would just kind of turn it into a Christmas um, little theme. So that's kind of what I would do with that. But I mean, that's so cute. So you have a little ornament that's just sitting on an, an egg. And then I'm going to show you another trick. So for me, I love things that are really easy. Like I've said, I really like them. So I'm going to pour out some of these flowers here. And if I was going to do a spring ornament, and this was on a spring tree, I would, I would take these little flowers. Because embellishing is part of the process. And then what I'm going to do, this will this will knock your socks off. This is so much fun. So you got a, a little wooden skewer. Mm -hmm. Little wooden skewer. And I've got nail polish. And Glittery I nail polish. love, I love glitter nail polish. There's two reasons why. Um, when you use a nail polish that has glitter in it, it has a coating that seals. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't come off. So I'm going to take my flowers and I'm actually going to change it. And um, included in your kit, you're going to pick some colors of um, ribbon. I'll include a few of these little flowers that you can try try this at home. But I mean, look how cute that is. And it's nail polish. Super cute. And super easy. And this was a dollar bottle nail polish. So we're not talking a, a really expensive nail polish. But to embellish. But you get that glittery shine mm -hmm. to it. Sparkle fun. And pixies love shine. They love bling. No, oh, who so, doesn't? I know. Everybody loves bling. So that's just kind of what I do. It dries in about 20 minutes, has a really nice sheen finish to it. And it's really kind of, so there you go. Let me just show it to them over here okay. even, there just you for go. you to see. Let's see if, if it picks up. Can but it's so sparkle? cool looking. It's way cool. It's so easy to do. So easy for your pixies. And super inexpensive mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. Very so nice. what's going to happen is you're just going to embellish the inside of a, you have a big and a small one, embellish it with a little bit of a diamond. And then when you make your little ornament, you can put it on like this and have your little Adorable. pixie. So if you're doing Christmas, match your little flowers to Christmas. If you're doing, um, you know, Easter type, whatever the season is, just match it. Go get you some so nail polish. So adorable. I love these little ones. And they're really... F and with the, yeah. the little glittery flowers. Glitter is good. And <laughs> some of these actually have nail polish put on them. Oh, so, like on the hair? So there's some on the hair, but I mostly on the wings. Oh. So what I did was I just put the nail polish on the wings. And Let's see if it you can see up great. here even. Look. You can see the nail polish. Yes. Notice over here. Right but... There. Um, for the the um, sheen itself, it's um, it's called a sparkle glaze, and it's made by Delta, and it is fabulous. Mm -hmm. You can put the sparkle glaze on anything, anywhere. It'll seal it. It looks really, really good. And so that's what's actually on the bottom plaque and the top. Um, I just took a small, fine paintbrush, and I'll show you. I'll actually show you the size. And while she's getting that paintbrush. Don't forget to go to mondomarkettv.com today to get your pixie, your wood pixie plaque uh, kit. We have the wood pixie plaque kit and the wood pixie panels kit. So you're seeing right here the plaque mm -hmm. comes with the balsa wood plaque, beautiful balsa wood, and three different sizes of uh, the patterns for you to do, right. as well as the little flowers that come with it. 
Uh, and then you have the panel kit, which is the wood pixie panel pla uh, pixie panels. <laughs> and uh, those are fun too, because you get to play with the panels. I'm sure we're gonna right. see here, uh, you saw it today and you can display them mm -hmm. differently. Um, then you can really get super creative in it, as well as it includes the balsa wood panels and the, different, the three different sizes of patterns. A fabulous kit for you to do. Fantastic, super easy, fast. Easy. Ooh, I love that. So just go to modelmarkettv.com to get yours today on sale. 20, $21.95 a steal, and you can get be on your way to creating pretty, to painting <laughs> pretty pixies, yes. Painting pretty pixies. Yes. And with the, the three panel kit, you also get all the eye hooks with it, the ribbons. Oh, nice. You get everything with it. So there isn't really anything you're gonna need to get except for your paint. Just the paint. Just and the, paint. the creativity. That's right, and, and the will, yes. and, and the will. And the will, there we go. <laughs> so this is the size of paintbrush that I used. So it's small. So it's really, really small. You can actually take your nail polish and um, you can dip this size of paintbrush into your nail polish if you wanna get the really details. So when I did the little wings on the fairies, cause it is a, a darker, um, I used a little bit of a darker sparkle that had more green in it. Um, those little paintbrushes right there dipped in your nail polish, it's just as good as the, um, the Delta Sparkle Glaze. Ah, yes. But the Delta Sparkle Glaze runs you about 4 or $5 a bottle, and this little guy runs you a dollar. And these, so just so. these little paintbrushes? Just those little Perfect. paintbrushes. And there's all different colors of, um, of nail polish you can get. So this is just a purple. And pixies love purple, and they also love pink, so, you know. <laughs> anyway, so now to your pot. Ooh. I want to show you something on your pot. And I painted the inside huh? and the you bottom. You are good. The inside See? might still be a little wet, though. So on your pot, you can take one of your patterns. And like I say, don't be perfect on it. Just give yourself a little bit of room. Check this out. So you are going to put this on there. And I'm going to cut a little bit more so I can get it on the bottom. So your pixies don't have to stay on wood. Your pixies can just be about anywhere you want them to be. So I'm going to put a Did little bit of tape. tape Yep, but I first need to cut myself a little bit of graphite paper. And these are, I love this, this is adorable as well. Look at this, how cute this is. Just simple little patterns. Yes. But you can change it's a them. It's friendly snail, I mm -hmm. love it. And he's sitting on his little mushrooms, having a good old time. So again, you know, take your carbon paper. Remember, don't, don't uh, rub your fingers on the carbon paper too much because it will leave a mark and it will leave a mark where you're doing your crafting at. So I'm just gonna tape one down here. And then when you're done um, transferring this, let's get another piece of tape here. You can put cute flowers into these. So, you know, you could pot yourself a little bit of lavender. Um, you could do herbs. Pixies love herbs. And so, you could just pot a few things in here. It's all sealed because you you sealed um, the pot with the paint. So you can I just do about anything. You're the pi pixie whisperer. I'm the pixie whisperer. <laughs> and it's good because these are little crafts too. Like if you have a bunch of kids in your neighborhood that you um, help with, that you help um, teach them different life skills and things like that, Stuff like this is really good for them to have, to use for concentration. Like I say, I'm not really making this perfect, but if you transfer this over and give them an opportunity to plant a plant and be responsible for something, that's awesome. You're, you're instilling art into kids. And right now, nowadays, we need as many people to do art as possible. We don't wanna lose our creativity just because there's phones and different social media things. We like to buy our crafts off social media, but we don't want to sit and stare at it. We want to be able to, to buy kits and to make things happen. Yes. So again, we're not doing just wood. 
so you can do whatever you want. Like I say, it's not perfect. But, ta-da! Ta -da. And see, I missed his little head. It's not quite all there, so I can just see the outline of it a little bit. And I'm just gonna add it. So when I go to paint that, I'm gonna just paint it just whatever colors I already did beforehand. Put it on here, and then in the outside, you can embellish it, you can put bling, you can put names. You can even put um, little letters. So the kit's not just a one-time use. These little patterns you can use for a long time. So, you know, if you've got a, somebody in your family that their name starts with B, like this one, you could put something like us on here. You could spell their name out. I mean, cute. Yes, cute, cute, totally cute, cute. Or you could write like the herb name. So if you're doing basil and you're doing different things like oh, that, yes. you can do that. And you also can sell these at little flea markets and uh -huh. stuff. Craft Farmers bears. markets coming up now. That's right. Here in the US at least. That's right. So this kit is, is very versatile and it's um, actually the three sizes that you get, you can do different sizes on different pieces of wood. So you're not, you don't even have to go out and reduce anything. It's already done for you. That's so right. So it's really quite nice. Very nice. Just go to mondomarkettv.com to get your wood pixie kits today. You have two options. You mm -hmm. have the plaques, as you can see here, uh, an example that Shalin created. Uh, those are the plaques. It comes mm -hmm. with the three wooden panels, balsa wood, ready for you to paint. It comes with the eyelets and all that, and three different sizes of patterns for you. And you also have the choice of the wood pixie plaque as you can see here below mm -hmm. comes with your balsa wood plaque beautiful wood and uh the three different patterns for you on sale during the next 24 hours so go to mondo market tv 21.95 during the next 24 hours you can get these beautiful kits and create and paint pretty pixies pretty yourself pixies. <laughs> yes i and please yes i want to see the, your your pretty pixies as well so uh be sure to post that in our facebook group yes. i love arts and crafts okay Please, after you order this kit, um, I would love for you to share all the different ideas that you had from just these patterns. I mean, you know, the patterns that you get, you're taking a piece of, of paper that has a pattern and you're, you're creating from that pattern. So whatever you decide to do with it, it would just be fabulous to see because the I Love's Art yes. and Craft page, if you haven't visited it, it is fabulous. There are so many people on there doing so many different things that sometimes it's hard to keep up, but it's awesome. It's really, really awesome. So again, in the kits, um, you know, I just urge you that once you buy the kit and you have the patterns, please use those patterns for other things. Don't, don't throw creative. it away. Get creative. We want you to get yes. creative. Yes, we want you to get creative. We want you to have fun. And we also want you to um, expand your horizons. So if you're doing um, a farmer's market, a craft fair, um, just look at the local trendy colors that are, are going around and then just base your patterns upon the trendy colors. Um, some places don't really necessarily like the pixies, so look in your area and just make sure that, that what you're doing is congruent to your market. And pixies, I think for me, I would sell with a cute little booth that's made for little kids and you have all kinds of crafting kits because in the future we've got other patterns that are coming up there's more pixies coming there's all kinds of different things and i'm so excited that we'll be able to come to you every week and show you different crafting ideas that's right and you heard shalin we're coming back every week her, her show happens every monday at 1 30 pacific 2 30 mountain 3 30 central 4 30 eastern just go to mondomarkettv.com every Monday to watch us live and participate and be a part of the fun, really. Mm -hmm. uh, Shalene, do you, do you know what we're going to cover next week? Next week, we're doing Picnic in the Park. What? It's so cute. It's so cute. So you'll have to tune in to see what it is, but I'll give you a hint. It has something to do with ants. Whoa. Mm -hmm. I can't so wait to cute. see that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm sure it's going to be super cute. It's going to be fun. Awesome. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to go to mondomarkettv.com today to get your wood, wood pixie mm -hmm. kits so that you can create your pretty pixies and uh, really have fun with it, okay? <laughs> and we'll see you right back here next Monday for mm -hmm. another episode of Crafting with Shalin. Until then.